Okay, so now we're going to look at what to do when you've actually got those fluid filled blisters. Uh, generally, the, the best advice is burst them. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at, first of all, let's say a blister on the back of the heel here. Yeah, so this is all full of fluid now. The thing we've got to do to this is we've got to get that fluid out and try and reattach the skin. It will make it far more comfortable for you. So the first thing you do is you get your alcohol swab, which is probably going to rub all this ink off. So you get your alcohol swab, you swab all over that blister area, all around there. Make sure it's nice and clean. Then you get your your scissors and you clean the tips of those scissors and then you've got to think about where you're going to put your incisions now because it's on the back of the heel the the force of causing this blister is this this friction force like this so the best thing to do is to put two holes here and here so you get your little scissors if they're nice and sharp just carefully push them into the blister push them into the blister then just drain the fluid off, push that fluid away until that's nice and empty. Yeah. The reason we put the holes at the bottom here is that gravity will help let the fluid track down. Also, as the foot's pulling up in the shoe, it will keep pushing that fluid away. Once that's nice and empty, what you can do then is straightforward tape up the heel. So what I'm gonna be using here now is just a little bit of rock tape. But like I said before, previously in another video, is any tape will do, zinc oxide, anything at all. We're going to look at rounding the edges of the tape off. If you've got nice rounded edges of tape, then the tape won't peel. So you make sure you've got a piece of tape that's bigger than the bigger than the heel, bigger than the blister of the heel. Sorry. Push on over that blister. Wrap it over the heel, wrap it up the leg. Take another piece. That might just be fine, but I'll just add another piece on here. Just to make sure. So if you had, if you were doing a whole Round the off. Yeah. Don't put too much stretch on this tape at all. You want it to be moving with the skin. The thing you've got to remember with it, if you're using KT tape, rock tape, things like that, is that you have to give the tape a good rub. Just to help heat the glue up. And then it will adhere to the skin a lot better. If your foot's particularly sweaty before you put the tape on you can always put an adhesive spray like the Opsite spray on there first to help you stick that on there.